An angry rally on the streets of Seoul, a conservative group burned North Korean flags in photos of the North's leader, Kim Jong-un. This demonstration comes in the wake of a North Korean missile launch that led to the shutdown of a factory park, which was a rare symbol of cooperation between the two Koreas. The North ordered a military takeover of the park on its side of the border. Thursday, trucks and cars crossed the border into the south, and nearly 300 workers from South Korea returned to their country. Last year, South Korean companies hired 54,000 workers from North Korea. When the industrial complex shuts down, our businesses will suffer the biggest blow. But North Korean workers get hit too. The North Korean workers were quite concerned. The 12-year-old park has provided more than half a billion dollars in cash to the much poorer North Korea. As the result of our government's decision to shut down the Kaesong Industrial Complex announced yesterday, it seems like the complex was nearly sentenced to death as of today. The North's moves significantly raised the stakes in a standoff that began with North Korea's nuclear tests last month. A long-range rocket launch followed on Sunday in what outsiders see as a banned test of ballistic missile technology. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.